On tap, West Fateran 12. Hi, I'm Joby Johnston and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today we have a world class beer and a show with a unique twist. I'm hosting and we only have one panelist, Mr. James Knott, the regular host of the Better Beer Authority. West Fateran 12, nickname Westy 12, is brewed in the West Fateran Brewery at the Abbey of St. Sixtus in Belgium. It was rated as the number one beer in the world by RateBeer.com in 2012. This Belgian quadruple is a tough beer to get a hold of here in the United States. The brewery's website says it's only available for sale at the brewery and you need a reservation to purchase it. However, the bottle that we are drinking today comes to us from friends of the show. Thanks Ben and Lindsay. This is one of only seven Trappist breweries in the world. Monks brew about 160,000 cases of this beer per year and proceeds benefit their Abbey community. This beer is 10.2% ABV and comes in an 11.2 ounce bottle. The bottles have no labels, so all the legal information is squeezed into the top of the bottle cap. James, best beer in the world here. What do you think? <clears throat> I think there's a lot of pressure talking about this beer. That's what I think. I mean, the first thing is when you pour it, you can see it has a nice head, but the head is more kind of like uh, soapy than, yeah. than creamy. The bubbles are a little bit larger, and that kind of stuck out to me. The head doesn't stick around too long, and there's not a lot of lacing on the glass. But then when you smell it, it's really <clears throat> uh, dark fruits, um, sugar sweetness that you smell to it. Uh, kind of plum was the first word that came to my mind when I was smelling it. Yeah. So you're like plum or like figs or, you know, dark dates or, you know, something in the dark fruit category. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's a nice looking beer. It's, you know, it's not overly dark. I would call it um, kind of cloudy, but you know, a dark amber. And, uh, but then when you taste it, the first thing that stuck out to me was the alcohol, the warming mm -hmm. going down the back of your throat. And it's that 10.2%. I mean, it's very present. It's not hidden in the beer, really. I mean, it is after a couple sips. <laughs> And uh, the more you have, this, this beer seems to get easier and easier to, to drink. drink. Right. Uh, I could definitely see this one getting me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> so at the start of the show, you know, you, you kind of said, you know, there's a big hype around this beer. Like, if you didn't know if it was the number one beer on RateBuilder.com, would you be so pumped and excited to try this one? Well, the, being rated number one definitely ups the curiosity level. And I think, you know, for other reviewers, I mean, it's got to affect their ratings. I mean, I wish that this was a blind tasting. There was, there was no way it really could be a blind tasting right. because of how we got it. And, but I wish this could be a blind tasting because yeah. it's so hard to go into this without any bias at all. Right. I mean, on one hand, you have this is the best beer in the world, but how good could it be? Right. And I can tell you, this is a good beer, but is it my top beer? It's probably not my top beer. Okay. Like, is there any particular situations you can see yourself drinking this besides like a birth of a children or, you know, <laughs> your bar mitzvah or? Oh, I mean, if I had regular access to this <laughs> beer, I could definitely see myself, especially like, especially like in the winter to, pour a glass of it and just have like one glass while I was, if I had a fireplace sitting around the fire. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, while I was just kind of chilling out and uh, I, I could definitely see myself just having a glass now and then. It's, it's nice and it's very pleasant. Uh, it doesn't have like a lot of the roasted characteristics that you get from the stouts and it doesn't have the hoppy characteristics that you get from an Imperial IPA. It is definitely a malt forward beer, very sweet. Uh, it's got a nice caramel flavor to it. So it kind of fills in this gap in the middle between the two types of beer. Right. 
So I guess, so I'm assuming that quadruple is one of the harder beers to brew. Therefore, you know, probably upping its stake to getting the number one rating. Do you think the type of beer lends itself to the higher rating? You know, for instance, a lager is never going to be the number one beer in the right. world. Right. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. I mean, you know, beer geeks are going to go for high ABV beers. They're going to go for something that's a little more complex. Uh, and, and this kind of fits that bill, mm -hmm. you know. But I, I also think, like, lately, the way the American craft beer scene is with these really big... Uh, hoppy beers and these really huge imperial stouts. I mean, this beer is starting to get a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is a great beer. People should definitely try it. Don't be afraid to try it because of all the hype. You know, go out of your way and find this and try it. But, you know, lower your expectations a little. This is still just a beer. It's still just barley and hops and a little bit of brewing sugar. I mean, but... It's good. So, you know, you sit on this side of the desk a lot, and a lot of people in the comment section always want to know what you rate the beer. Well, you're on that side of the desk, so James, what's your rating? Well, <clears throat> best beer in the world, but I can't go 10. I can't go 9. I have to go 8. But on our rating scale, 8 is still recommended. Eight is I great. recommend it. I have nothing bad to say about this beer but in the wide scheme of things when i'm going to grab a beer this is probably not going to be the first one i'm going to however if i was going to go to a belgian beer bar and they had this on sale this would go come over a lot of the other belgian like high yeast beers that that are there like i really do like this beer so i'm going eight eight is great eight is great well there you have it uh, Westy 12 gets an 8 on the BBA scale. Ben, Lindsay, thanks again for sending it to us. Uh, very hard to get here in the U.S., and you guys brought it back from Belgium and, and sent us a bottle, so we really appreciate it. Uh, for James, I'm Joby. This is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.